Chapter 1, Logic and Belief If you seek to understand the whole universe, you will understand nothing at all. If you seek only to understand yourself, you will understand the whole universe. Anonymous This book deals with life in general. It shows you how to be at peace with yourself, how to accept that you have total control over your existence, and how you control your own perception of reality along with who truly controls it. I am what people consider a spiritual teacher who teaches you how to connect and create whatever you want. Although most of you seem unable to connect or create whatever you want, it is your birthright to command it. It all has to do with a secret society that entered our civilization thousands of years ago. I have gone through a metaphorsis. I see myself with a clear awareness of my higher divine self. My thoughts have changed and this has led the energy surrounding me to change. I am finally at peace and I feel joy and harmony. I have gone on many spiritual journey by meditating through trancing. Only some have noticed my change, others may see it but don't say anything. Nonetheless. I see it happening and I enjoy being blessed with this wonderful journey that I am on and hope to continue by not letting my ego self take over again. It's like Mr. Spock of Star Trek, if you follow it, when he struggles to ignore his human feeling so that he can maintain his logical Vulcan self. I have become awakened to my inner light and am opening to new level of spiritual understanding and awareness. Remember that your understanding of being spiritual may not relate to my understanding of it. Most people have this concept of spirituality as expressed by Gandhi, Buddha, or Jesus as peaceful. This was misunderstood by their followers and the masses. They live spiritual life attaching love to all of their thoughts, actions, and inspirations. Do not misunderstand me. I do not feel that love should not be a part of the equation. Love of self and of others is the foundation of all that we do and all that we are as human beings. The difference between how they express spirituality and how I express esteem from my belief that love does not conquer all and is not the direct solution to a problem. At times, being a spiritual warrior is what is warranted to solve a problem so that love can then solidify the solution. What is the truth? The truth is that the truth is closer than you may believe. If you choose not to read further, then it is your right, since the choice is yours. You only choose to open yourself when you feel you are ready. Do you agree? When you read this book, please have an open mind. Read between the lines that you read and capture the message that I have made an effort to send you. Throughout my book, I put secret information in codes that only selected few should be able to decipher. In other words, only those with a gift will be able to understand. Am I getting this from my inner self? A higher source? The supreme being? The universe? God? Or whatever you want to call it? Or from any other belief you may have? I will leave the answer to you in your personal belief. The message I receive I understand as a simple one. This makes my word all the more credible since I am not highly educated in worldly knowledge so I will not complicate things and will explain them simply. I will not compose a library sentence that would be difficult for many non-readers to read. What is the universal law of creation? How does it work? Are you willing to find it and understand it? Tell me, as well as yourself, are you hungry for it? Respond to this question aloud as if you were talking to me. After this, you may ask yourself, Who am I? You are a survivor. You are more than who you believe you are. You are stronger, wiser, 
more valuable, and much more than you know yourself to be. Any inability to accept who you are only holds back your full potential to be your true self. Even if you have studied every philosophical view out there, you still do not feel an improvement in your full potential. Am I right so far? All the things that you believe have gone wrong in your life are not what you believe them to be. Until you finally see the truth I present to you, you will continue on the same path, so read on to expand your full knowledge and potential. Things that go wrong in your life are an opportunity. To this statement, you will most likely answer back with, Why would you state that what goes wrong with my life is an opportunity? The answer to this question is that life itself is working on clearing everything that has not been working for you. Yet, you do not see it. Do you follow? Life is just showing you how to restart itself from scratch. Thanks to this, you will now have room to rebuild your life into what you really and truly want. I am not talking about any physical desire. I am talking about our true spiritual thoughts in the spiritual realm that has plans and does not interfere with our physical dilemma. The true higher you pick the physical life you are living to acquire knowledge. Life is not about focusing on what you do not want. You must always focus on what you want even if it means that you have to start over to achieve it. Whenever this beginning comes to be, you have the potential to be in the better life you selected. What do you truly want? What do you want your life to be? If you are a person with little confidence, you most likely never truly made yourself want anything. Am I right? If not, then you are only lying to yourself. You believe there are people in worse situations than you are, yet, deep, deep inside of you, you believe differently. You feel you have nowhere to go. If you feel this, let me tell you, you deserve another chance. It could take a long time to accept this, but there are really good people out there who want to help you. Yet, you must first help yourself. If you cannot do this, then no one can do it for you. You try to convince people that you are independent and do not need help. However, with the same breath you say, Nobody helps me. They are focused on their life. Am I correct on this? It is not important to understand the details of why bad things happen to you. All you must understand is that bad things happen for a reason. It could take a long time to accept this. You must first help yourself. Only you can do it for yourself. Now, get back up and get off that wide road you have been taking and take the lost original narrow road that was always your path and your birthright. The narrow road may seem dangerous, yet it is not. In contract, the wide road may seem faster and safer, however, it is not. The truth is, the road is just an illusion. Before creation existed, it had to emanate. This was the moment before creation when space and time did not exist in the physical reality, which is just an illusion. What I am about to reveal has been hidden in symbols for over hundreds of thousands of years. In addition, every few thousand years, we share it with you, the mass population. Yet only a selected few understand it. Only those who are in high position spiritually know about it, along with the few who have discovered over the years. However, before I reveal more, let me ask you. Do you really believe this is the first time you have been in this physical realm? All you have known about spirituality is not what it really represents. What it truly represents cannot be explained in physical terms. You must become one with it to understand the true meaning of spirituality. All that you have believed has been altered and tamed too much to create your reality. What you want out of life is all up to you, do you agree? You must believe this fact with unconditional blind faith. 
you must think and visualize as real all that you truly desire together with a mental image of your wishes and dreams. You must touch it, feel it, sense it, smell it, and taste it as if it were real. As a result, this authentic desire will be in front of you and not out of your reach. Alter your thoughts to link them in your reality. You must feel it existing unconditionally deep down in your heart. Believe in what you truly want without any doubt or even a shadow of a doubt. Believe totally that you already have what you want. Believe totally that you deserve it, that it is all possible for you. Whatever you do, believe it always and do not give up by just saying, This does not work! If, in the past, you have given up, I will put my belief to the test and say that if you had persisted and believed without any shadow of doubt whatsoever in your desire, you would have achieved your goal. Why do I write this? I write this so that you become aware that deep down in your subconscious mind you have doubts and do not fully see or believe what you want to make your conscious mind believe. Then you will be able to shift your thoughts and train them like other parts of your body muscles. Personally, I believe time and reality are just illusion that you create and cause to exist. I believe and still believe in this concept. It was my belief even before I heard of Albert Einstein's theory and his famous quote, Reality is merely an illusion. The past, present, and so-called future are all one timeline. Everything is happening simultaneously. I understand this as a fact. In reality, there is no time. So if you believe in what you want, then it already exists in your future. Therefore, as everything is happening at once, then there is a version of you in a parallel reality that receives what you really wanted and this reality exists. Throughout my book, I will ask you to close your eyes at least once a day, just for several minutes, and visualize that you, what you truly want and not what you do not want. You must truly believe it unconditionally as well as sense the feeling of already having what you want. Feel grateful for what you already have and stay positive. Start your day, then release your wish to the universe and trust that the universal consciousness will fully absorb and understand how to manifest your wish creation. Believe in this reality you create in your mind while having the feeling that it belongs to your reality. Like this, your source, the universe, will attract this reality and make it happen just the way you define it in your mind. This must not be a one-time idea. Do it every day of your life, the same way you exercise your muscles. Believe in your objection. Without any doubt or even a shadow of a doubt, even if you have not yet physically achieved it, do you follow? It may not happen overnight, yet it will happen. However, this will come to be not when you expect it to be, but when you least expect it to be. Imagine that you already have what you wish for. Learn to play that game while making believe you have it until it physically materializes. Make it fun. Feel it. Feel good about it. And you feel better about yourself. It will begin to flow into your life. The moment you have doubt, you must immediately move them out of your mind and replace them with positive thoughts. This will change the outcome into what you want. Yes, I will repeat myself throughout the content of this book so that what I write shall be ingrained in your being. You will know that I will always insist, quite frankly and rightly, that you as an individual must not take my word for everything I write, nor should you believe everything I teach. Instead, I should be done with any authors. You, the reader, must take what you feel is relevant or right. Always have an open mind, though, and do your own research. 
always feel happy for you are emanating to the universe your innermost thoughts and your life's feeling that lies deep in your subconscious. Whatever you want must be feasible in your mind or it will not work. This is the reason why I always say, in my heart, I truly believe without any doubt or shadow of a doubt whatsoever that I am. You can use this statement to express your own desire. It is your job to ask, seek, see, and believe that you are receiving and feel pleased and happy at the present moment. Do not worry about how you receive your desire. Let the universe worry about the details and how it will happen. Do not let it be your concern. Change your behavior. Repeat day and night continuously like a pirate that you can change your life. Visualize life, health, wealth, and how you want to attain that to those around. Tell yourself, I can and I will. Make this your prominent thoughts and anything you want. Engrave in your mind that life, health, wealth, or a great social environment is not hard to attain. Believe it and immediately disregard any opposite ideas. This state of being comes from within and not from without. Say aloud with true feeling, There is an abundance of joy out there and I can have it. Some people only focus on the greed of superabundance. Yet, abundance is much more than just material wealth. Abundance is the flow of energy that comes to you from the universal source of life. Represent both as a spiritual sense and in material prosperity. Love with wisdom and starve from knowledge. Then you will see that you know your skills, successes, talents, and virtue and the abundance required to fulfill your life's purpose. Angie is flowing freely through you and it wants to materialize in superabundance. If you're not experiencing the flow of abundance, then you have to ask yourself, why? Is there something within me or around me that is blocking the abundance flow of prosperity? Set your thought and frequency on happiness and not on material wealth. Make sure your actions do not contradict your desire and that your action mirrors that you expect what you're going to get from the universe. You must fully understand that you unconsciously attract what you think. When you truly love yourself in a deep, profound way, people will love you as well. You will bring more people, situation, and circumstance to you that reflects how you feel. What you attract will reflect how you truly feel at moments in either a negative or a positive environment. Do you really understand the implication of your state of being? Learn to stay focused on the good side of yourself no matter what the outcome of the situation. Avoid those people who oppose this positive way of thinking. They do so because of their own reason and will do all they can to keep you off balance, set you in a negative state, or even try to erase your positive thoughts. You become a threat if the masses follow the truth. Other hidden groups will disguise themselves and have high position in government and religion. Religious fanatics will say you are following the devil or whatever evil belief they have in the name of their God. They will make you believe that to be saved you must believe in their 1400 to 2000 year old faith. Learn to love and respect yourself fully without being pantatious or acting conceited. When you truly love yourself, you will automatically be able to love others. The only person who can make you truly happy is you. Only you are in charge of your happiness, not your parents, your children, partner, or anyone else. If you focus on complaint, then that is what you will receive. Nobody can control your happiness. However, you have the opportunity to share it with everyone. Your joy lies within yourself. When you think negatively, you are disconnecting yourself from the positive energy of the universe. 
Negative thoughts are the cause of many humanity's conflicts, illnesses, poverty, and unhappiness. So once again, say to yourself aloud, I am the best there is. I am perfect in every way. I have perfect thoughts and I only see perfection and positive outcome in my life. Banish all negative and perfect thoughts and avoid people with negative energy, including sources such as the television or the internet. These negative messages do not serve you positively. We have the misconception of what love is, and it is mostly understood in a physical sense. Love in the physical sense has been overrated since in the spiritual realm it is not even close to how we perceive it. Remember that you are the master of your life and this includes your thoughts. The universal cosmic conscience will answer your every command. If you see negative events, make light of them and then let them go. Put new thoughts of what you want in your mind. Feel them and be grateful for them. You must train your mind to see all the possibility of what is around you with a positive outlook. You were originally sent here for a purpose. You are here on vacation from a spiritual reality endowed with the wonderful power to shift, control, and as a result, create your life. There are no limits to what you want or can receive because your ability to think is unlimited. Everyone will create their own version of their vision so you cannot push your viewpoints onto them. Consider the fact that you can attract immense universal forces when you believe in statements such as life was better years ago or the world has gotten more violent. I believe in sharing my well-being. I believe there is a superabundance of wealth for everyone to share. I believe in having a loyal business partner as in the round table. I believe you have the ability to choose what you really want to experience. My mission is to empower and to share this with others, namely you. I plan to shape our wealth as one. This belief has always been around even before time existed. I have always been here. Only a few are aware of the reason and purpose.